you asked, are solar panels hail resistant? I used to work for a manufacturer of solar panels, and so I've actually seen the hail testing for solar panels. What happens is they make little ice balls, usually around 25 millimeters thickness. There is a machine, a testing machine, and it uses a velocity of around 23 meters per second, which is around 80 kilometers, to shoot that ice ball at the panel from about three, four meters distance, and the panel cannot have a crack, broken glass, or anything like that. It's usually a number of spots, could be eight, 10, 12 different spots on different sizes of the panel that this particular ice ball will get shot at. And if the panel survives that, it is strong enough to pass the hail test. The issue nowadays, maybe due to climate change, is that the 25 millimeters of the ice, which is about this size, a little bit smaller than the golf ball, in some cases is not what the hail is nowadays. I have seen them this size of a fist. What's going on? I don't know, but that damn thing's getting bigger. And of course, if that type of hail hits any solar panel, the panel will shatter. And by the way, hail storms, when the panel breaks, it's not a warranty matter. Just like your tile manufacturer on your roof does not warrant you that the tiles couldn't be smashed. So this is a home insurance matter. No manufacturer will give you a warranty on that. The worst case scenario with hail is where you have a big hail storm, 20 of your panels survived and two panels got broken. Your insurance comes out, they'll pay you for the two panels. You think, oh, well, this is all good. No, it's a disaster. Because unbeknown to you, those hail stones that hit the 20 panels that didn't have the glass broken will still cause micro cracks. Micro cracks means that the hail has hit the panel, has hit the cell, and the cell actually cracked or even shattered. As soon as that happens, that causes resistance in the cell and the cell will heat up. The heating up of the cell creates a runaway effect because now the resistance increases and over time you will get hotspots. The problem is the hotspots might take three to four to five years to develop, by which time you might have already changed insurance companies twice. You can't really go back to the insurance again now and say, oh, well, you know, that hailstorm from uh, five years ago, I actually realized all my other 20 panels got smacked as well. The problem is that the insurance company will push back because they can't see the damage. I see no problem at all. So unfortunately, there's only two options. You pay for one of the panels to be removed and you send it to a laboratory and you have it checked for micro cracks. And I give you a guarantee that will be riddled and you can tell hailstone breakage because it looks like a bullseye. In that case, I think you got good proof to your insurance that there's a problem. The alternative is that you ensure that the insurance takes a file note on your case and then in years to come, should you get the issues, you can go back to them and you have the proof about the matter. So from those past experiences I had myself, I recommend strongly that you follow this path to protect your own investment in solar. You might be lucky that you have optimized panels or you have microinverters on the panels and you have the ability to individually now monitor the various panels. And that means you can actually see if the output has reduced on specific panels, which would also be a good argument with your insurance company. Finally, we do not encourage you to get on the roof and try to check your solar panels out after there was a hailstorm. It's too dangerous. You need qualified help who knows what they're doing. The problem is when there was a hailstorm that the assessors are very busy. It's not just you that's got the problem. If you have smashed panels, in those instances, you have to turn the system off to protect it from dangers associated with broken equipment. Now, naturally, when you have uh, utilized and used one of our recommended installers, they will prioritize the systems that they've installed themselves as part of their high quality after sale service. And obviously the importance of monitoring, and especially in a system that's been hit by hailstorm, watch the monitoring now in a month, in six months, and compare it to data from previous years to really establish that the system is still functioning in the way it was initially designed. So monitoring is important, a good after sales service, and you having your arguments ready with the insurance company is important. Want more Energy Answered? Visit yourenergyanswers.com for quality energy products, tools and calculators, and find your quality local installers. Please support the channel by liking the video, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell and check out all our other videos. You're still here? 
I'll see you next time. Bye.